honestly not too bad overall i think i'd give overall i think i'd give the game like an eight out of ten i think for it being a survival game and how many like it takes a lot of bullets to kill some of the enemies and i know that they're trying to get you to like be tactical and aim for the head but i feel like the movement of a lot of them it just doesn't really work out that way but i could be wrong or maybe you're just supposed to use better weapons than I did. I feel like I kind of... Uh, maybe I took the revolver a little too far in the game. I don't know. It felt like it was doing pretty well. The sections on where exactly to go, traveling, location pu puzzles, I feel it like could have been a little bit better. I think uh, holding M, you know, how it brings out the lighter. And it brought out a compass. I don't know if that was supposed to be, like, what led you to your objective at the time. Um, but there were quite a few things that it didn't really, it didn't really explain the controls on how to do. Like, like I said, three fourths into the game, I didn't know I could recharge the the flashlight or the battery pack until I just so happened to look it up because the night vision wasn't working. Which is another thing I never really used the night vision properly because it was always dead. <laughs> but I think I'm I bought the I bought the pack that has all the games. So I think I'm going to continue playing them. I'm very curious about the story. I'm very, very curious about the story. There's a lot of questions that I have, like, what's so special about our main character? Why is he able to fight against the visions? Who was the guy that handed us the gun? Because it literally kind of materialized in our hands. Like we woke up with it, which is real weird. Yeah. Who are the invisible watchers? Are they going to be back for the second game? I'm assuming they are, and there's going to be different ones. But overall, I enjoyed the game. I think uh, I think I'm curious to see how they improve on their mechanics and how they how they improve on everything, because this first game, when did this game come out? So this game came out in 2010 and then it goes Metro Last Light in 2013 and Metro Exodus in 2019. So in between Last Light and Exodus was pretty big. I know that these games were always very these games were very popular. Wow, we went through we went through a lot in two days. I mean, the game isn't crazy long, which I like that. I like that the game isn't crazy, crazy long. Overall, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did and you aren't already followed, be sure to follow, be notified of future streams, come hang out. Um, if you want to see more of me, you can check me out on YouTube and TikTok, where I post condensed versions of live streams and stuff into clips and highlight videos. Some short, some long. Other than that, I will see y'all next time. Bye bye.